guys welcome back to my youtube channel so today i'm going to be doing another set of acrylic nails um, and i do acrylic nails at home pretty often but this is my first time using a drill um, and so my boyfriend's mom got me this cad rim if that's how you say that drill off of amazon i believe um, and it looks pretty legit like there are a lot of different sized um i don't know what you call that um, but anyways, it looks really fun and so I think I am going to test it out because I hate filing my nails. So if you guys saw my last nail video, um, I kind of would do one step and then show the camera and then do a few more layers or a few more steps and then show you the camera like every few steps if that makes sense. Um, but today I'm going to try to set it up differently and so I have it facing down. Um, so that you can hopefully see my nails as I'm doing them. And all right, so this is my first voiceover, so bear with me, but I just got out all of my materials and then I'm just prepping my nails by filing them um, and kind of making them textured and then pushing or trimming back my cuticles and then gluing each nail tip on. And you may find with certain fingers that you're going to have to trim the nail tip just to best fit the shape of your nail. Um, and then just squeeze that on there and hold them there until they're dry um, and make sure they're completely dry before you clip them. Um, and then just file and shape to your desired shape. So I found that the big pack of dip powders that I ordered on Wish was a little bit too vibrant of colors for me, so I'm just creating my own shade and then adding a glitter shade that I also ordered off of Wish, and that was a super, super pretty um, color of glitter, although it did kind of make it messier, um, but I think it's worth it because that is not something that I've done before. Alright, so I then glue the tips onto my other hand. I don't know why I mixed the powder before putting tips on my right hand, but I'm just gluing that onto there, um, and then I will clip, um, file, and shape those to my desired shape. Now some people don't mind having acrylics on, so they do longer acrylics, um, but I am the type of person that does not like to have nail tips on, so I try to keep them as short as I can, um, just so that I have something on my nails, so that my real nails are able to grow out, but I don't want really any extra length. So you can obviously do them longer if you like, um, but I prefer not to. So I then just brush a layer of glue on at a time. Um, and then dip that nail into the powder um, and since I was using the drill and I thought that it was going to take off a lot more product I did do more layers than I typically would have so I think I did um, four or five layers of dip powder onto each nail um, anticipating that the drill would take off a good chunk of that all right so then I am unboxing the drill and it was super easy to set up and figure out how to use um, and then I'm just smoothing out my nails and this did work pretty pretty well um, to smooth out the majority of my nail bed. Um, the only place I had to go back in with a file was around the edges um, just to kind of smooth everything out. So I then go in with a cuticle oil and put it all over my cuticles and my nails um, and then I washed my hands and finally put on a clear coat at the end. And for some reason with dip powder, I feel like it um, really absorbs the clear coat or any nail polish that you put on top of it. So I would definitely do more layers than you typically would. I think I ended up doing two or three here um, because it does kind of soak into the dip powder and make it look a little bit more textured than smooth. So here is how they turned out. I definitely love this look and I will for sure be adding more glitter into my powder mixes. Um, it's just not something that I've ever even thought of. So that is all for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope that this inspired you to do your own nails at home um, after seeing how simple it was and how great it turns out. 